Hello everyone. <coughs> so I welcome you all to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to demonstrate you a very famous situation, or you can say a problem, when multiple processes or threads try to work on the same resource or shared data. The situation is known as a race condition. So, in usually or in real life, what we consider as a race when n number of persons are trying to achieve the same goal and in which order they are achieving that goal generates a different result. So, if the person is coming first, the person is getting let's say gold medal, the second person is getting silver and so on. If in any of the order, if those persons are coming and the same medal is going to be given to all, then there will not be any kind of race, right? In your lab manual, I have given one uh, dummy code to demonstrate you what the race condition is and how does it look like in the system. So you please look at it. I am demonstrating the same code here. I have given or I have taken a shared variable and which is having initial value like 5. And one mutex variable I have declared named as lock. And there are two functions. So these two functions I am passing to two different threads. And one actually inside one function I am trying to update that value shared variable by one. And after some time point in time I store that value. Okay. And then if I make this thing let's say the sleep I am making is fixed sleep. This sleep will force the process to context switch because the CPU will not be allocated to this process if this or uh, this process or this thread will be in sleeping mode. So it will perform the context switch and the next thread will start executing in that duration. Okay. So the next thread is decrementing the value. So in order to uh, like if we decide the value of this shared variable finally after execution of thread 1 and thread 2 the value will be decided by which thread is executing at last okay so at last if thread 2 is executing and it is storing this local into the shared variable so this local must be having value 4 okay because initially the shared variable was having value 5 so the 5 is copied here and the 5 is decremented by 1 so it will become 4 and 4 will be shared in the shared variable and if thread 1 will execute last, then this will update this local into the shared variable. And this local is containing value 6. So ultimately, whatever the result will be updated into the shared variable, that will be dependent on the order of execution of these threads. Right? So if I execute this code, quickly you can try to understand how this code is working. Right? So you will have the idea uh, how we can create the thread. So I guess this syntax I have already discussed in the previous sessions. So you are creating the threads, thread 1 and thread 2. Any thread ID you can take like T1 and T2. You are passing or calling those functions, function 1 and function 2 in that and then you are joining the thread. Okay. After let's say execution of both the thread, if you want to execute or if you want to print the value of that shared variable you can print here so that is not a problem if you want to print it you can print here okay so if i print f and the value let's see the value or i i would say the final value right the final value of shared variable okay so the final value of shared variable will be printed here like this it will demonstrate you how the value will be printed now if i ask you what is the expected output of this fun uh, this code the output of this code is actually initially there is a shared variable which is having value 5 you are initiating two thread one thread is decrementing the value another thread is incrementing the value so you are executing both the thread only once so if a variable is having 5 value, you are decrementing the value, it will become 4. 
and if you are incrementing the value from 4 again it will become 5 in another order if the very first thing the thread 1 let's say executing so uh, from 5 it will increment the value to 6 and if another thread will read the value 6 and start decrementing that it will again become 5 so the expected outcome will be 5 only now let's execute this code and try to understand the situation <coughs> okay so let's see the code if i open the code here i have already written the code so let's say lab we are doing experiment 7 okay and let's say 0 2 or c if i open this now this is the different code actually let me open another okay so this is the uh, code which i have demonstrated there so shared value uh, variable is having value 5 and then the same code which i have already shown you that is written there so if i compile this i use gcc compiler and i need to link my pthread library so i can use l pthread and then i compile it now if i want to run it i run a dot out file and after the delay of 5 second it will display me the output because there is a sleep it is printing the shared variable values 5 finally but inside this particular thread 1 the value is 6 and inside inside the thread 2 the value is 5 okay but finally it is printing 5 so that is fine that's why i said that this is a kind of dummy code okay so if i run it again and again it may give you final value same so i need to update some logic in this maybe i can apply a random time sleep so that i can demonstrate uh, the final value should be displayed in different way if it is always 5 5 5 that means there is no race okay so th this is just only the dummy code i have written another code to demonstrate the real situation so you just check it Now here I am again creating two threads but this time I am not just trying to increment the shared variable once I am incrementing it again and again. So I am taking a big loop uh, which is starting from zero and it is let's say going till you consider like uh, like mini L okay. So there are <coughs> 10 lakhs times I am running it. Okay, 1 million times. Why I am running this much of time? Because if I put this value small, the context switch may, may not happen. If the context switch will, will not happen, I will not be able to demonstrate the race kind of situation. Every time the shared variable will get the same value. So if I fix this, let's say 100, what I am doing is this function, this thread function which I have created initially shared variable is having value 0 okay right and this function i am calling in both the threads so both the threads are having same function that's not a problem so both are trying to update the shared variable value 1 million times okay so if sequentially they update the value of shared variable the final value of the shared variable must be 2 million because thread 1 will update the value 1 million time thread 2 will update the value 1 million time so ultimately 2 million but because of the context switching in between the value will not be like that okay so i have created two threads so i'm just taking a let's say an array if you want to create three thread four thread you can pass that value here okay so i'm going to create two thread i'm just typing here two and then the thread id also i have created two thread ids in an array you can take two different variable if you don't want to create here thread uh, the array okay so i am running the loop two times and every time what i am doing is thread id i am allocating the value of i to the thread id okay so let's say this is zero number thread then one number thread and so on if i am creating n number of thread accordingly i am allocating the value to this thread underscore id variable 
then I'm creating those number of threads. So if this loop is going till two, there will be two threads created. And this thread ID I'm passing here, and the same thing I'm passing at the last argument so that I'll be aware about which thread is executing this function because function is same. Okay. I'm calling same function in all the threads. So I hope this this p thread underscore create you can understand. Let me uh, show you like this. I think now it's better visible. Right. So you can check it. Then <clears throat> here what is happening? The join operation I have performed on both the threads. So as a loop. I'm running it. If you are having only two thread, you can call this join operation twice according to the thread ID. So that's not a problem. And finally, I'm printing the final value of the shared variable. The final value of shared variable is right. So I hope the code is not that difficult to understand. Let me execute this. So if I compile it and I need to attach P thread library so I can use L P thread and I run this program now you check it there's a problem we can observe because this value the final value of the shared variable is not 2 million which we were expecting because both the threads are trying to increment the shared variable 1 million times so conceptually it has to be 2 million but when you run this particular code multiple times, it will give you final value different. So there are different values, right? That means there is a clear cut condition of race. Okay. If I take, if I run that loop less number of times, then I may not be able to create the situation of race because context switch will not be happening frequently. And because of the context switch, these values are changing only. So let me update. So I'm updating this and in this, if this loop I'm not running for let's say 1 million times, I, I run this loop let's say 100 times. Okay. 100 times if a loop is executing, it will not take much of the time. So logically there will not be any context switch because for CPU these many instructions are not a very, very tough task to do in a single go. So context switch will not happen and if context switch will not happen the result will be if I am executing uh, incrementing the value to uh, 100 times another thread will also increment 100 times the shared variable final value is expected as 200 okay. So let's look at whether it is giving you 200 or not now it is giving you 200 okay now there is no race because no context switching nothing both the threads are getting executed in a single go okay so if you execute it multiple times it will give you final value as 200 so there is no race okay it depends upon the situation when the race is there when the race is not there so i'm just uh, giving you this particular code in the description section you vary the value of the loop which i am applying and you can feel like once the value will become sufficiently long enough or large enough then the because of context switching we will not be able to get the desired value of the shared variable and this is the race condition so i hope uh, this session will help you i'm doing, going to close this session see you in the next session happy learning